We've been all over the place, and now it's time for real. <laughs> I'm excited to be here. Told you earlier, I got butterflies. It's opening day. <laughs> Former NFL quarterback and current CBS sports commentator, Tony Romo, recently addressed the controversy surrounding his comment referring to Taylor Swift as the wife of Kansas City Chiefs tight end, Travis Kelsey. Kelsey's wife, Taylor Swift, in the audience, or I'm sorry. Romo set the record straight, asserting that his remark was intended as a joke, emphasizing the distinction between humor and factual statements. During a telecast alongside Jim Nance, Romo playfully referred to Swift as Travis Kelsey's wife, sparking reactions from fans for two primary reasons. Firstly, it's a factual inaccuracy, as Swift and Kelsey are not yet married, despite swirling rumors predicting a summer wedding. Secondly, critics argue that reducing Swift, a global music icon, to the status of a wife, diminishes her individual achievements, potentially perpetuating sexist or patriarchal notions. Romo, however, was quick to clarify that his intention was light-hearted banter and not a factual claim about the couple's relationship. Acknowledging that humor can be subjective and occasionally misunderstood, he expressed amusement at the extent to which people speculated about his inside knowledge of the relationship. It's a joke, Romo affirmed, according to Brendan Clean. I know sometimes people don't think so, sometimes the humor doesn't go over as well, but I think people take to it. People come up to me all the time and they say, what do you know? Do you think they're going to be married and everything? In a related context, the controversy surrounding Taylor Swift escalated when artificial images of her engaging in explicit acts during Chiefs games circulated online. Attorney recommendations and potential legal action against the creators, such as Celeb Jihad, underscore the dangers of generating seemingly harmless or obviously fake content. As the issue gains prominence, Representative Joseph Morell, a Democrat from New York, has taken legislative action. In May 2023, he filed the Preventing Deepfakes of Intimate Images Act, signaling an effort to control and mitigate the serious problem of deepfake content, particularly in the context of intimate images. The intersection of sports commentary, celebrity relationships, and the challenges posed by deepfake content raises important questions about the responsibility of media personalities, legal frameworks to address emerging issues, and the impact of humor in public discourse. The evolving landscape highlights the need for continued discussions and measures to navigate these complex dynamics in the modern media environment. Feel free to share your thoughts on this controversy in the comments section below. What are your views on the intersection of humor, sports commentary, and evolving challenges in the digital age?